Welcome to the first part of this WP eCommerce installation and setup series. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and download the newest version of WP eCommerce, which is the beta version, the public beta, and it has a, a bunch of um, new features and uh, methods for handling um, adding products and, and managing them. So I'm going to put a link to the uh, download page but um, this is the page that you can actually read about the um, the new beta release and we'll go ahead and get the uh, more current beta available here and we'll scroll down a bit and here's the download link I'll just save this inside of here okay now that I have that, I'm back over here to um, my uh, the site that I'm building for Google Video Sitemap Creator, which is a plugin I recently completed and uh, will be offering to the public for purchase. So, um, and uh, we're going to scroll down and under plugins, we'll click Add New, and then click the upload link. Choose a file. here it is install now and there we are the plugin is now on the server we have to activate it and now we have it installed so um, <coughs> you'll notice that you now have let's see under settings you've got store here and then we've got product the plot product block right here and then here we have the store sales so by clicking that we would be able to get a uh, a quick overview of the products that we have the groups the variations the number of sales and depending transactions any closed transactions and all of our financial data would appear down here and I'm um, a total and we can also download a CSV comma separated value that opens up in Excel or some other um, um, spreadsheet software that you may use so the first thing we're going to do is under settings we'll go to store and this is where we're actually going to set WP eCommerce up so we're going to have to set the base country or region and because I'm in the United States, I'll select United States, the USA. After that, it's going to give you um, a list of all of the states that are in the United States. And that's what it's doing right now. It's populating. So I am in Ohio. I will select Ohio. This is good for um, calculating shipping. Um, for one thing because the item will leave from your your uh, city or um, in your state and be shipped somewhere else so WP e-commerce will actually interface with UPS or FedEx um, if you have those shipping modules installed and I'll get into that in another video but then it will calculate shipping totals and give the person the uh, the amount that it's going to cost to ship that item to their location um, so it's starting out as, at the base assuming that the item will be shipped from your location um, target markets um, you can set any target markets that you that you're targeting the purpose of target markets is because you can select different ways of uh, of of handling your products based on the um, areas that people are in and I'll show you more about that in future videos also the currency type set your currency type USA dollar and I want to keep the dollar sign on the left uh, thousand separator decimal se separator go ahead and update Um, the next thing that you're probably going to want to set, um, unless you're, if you're selling um, items that you 
have to apply taxes to then you'll click taxes and you'll fill out all of this information but I'm going to be selling a downloadable item that I do not have to charge taxes on um, and I'm going to go straight to the payments you'll select the uh, the method of payment that you want to offer so I'm going to offer um, PayPal payments standard and Google checkout update okay so now we can um, hover over PayPal payment standard and click the edit button and we get all of the uh, configurations for PayPal payment standard okay so the display name yes we want to use IPN no we don't need any shipping because this is going to be a downloadable product that I'm selling and then form sent to gateway so when the person fills out the form um, on your site um, that data their name uh, email address all of that stuff gets stored um, on your server however they complete the transaction on um, the gateways server so you can set the information that you want passed from your site to the gateway site so they don't have to fill that out again so I'm gonna choose that I want the first name last name um, their address their city state postal code and country I want all of that to be sent over so that they don't have to fill that information out again unless they decide they want to change it but they probably won't okay for your um for your checkout page you can I'll show you real quick you can control this form this is the form um, where you gather information that's stored on your server about the uh, the the customer um, and you can add a new form set for example if you want to gather different information based on um, the product that you're selling you can either you can easily add new form sets by clicking the new and putting in um, you know any type of uh, information that you want to gather this is the most basic right here um, if there's not going to be any shipping um, then you can remove that so for example I'm going to remove shipping details because I don't need any shipping details I'm removing all of this stuff okay I'm going to save changes and you would also set whether or not a field is mandatory over here finally um, we can set whether users must register before checking out if you want to make sure that they become a member of your site before they're allowed to buy something and you would set this to yes um, we can enable shipping same as billing option um, and um, so if you're shipping something and um, if you want to force users to use the secure socket layer that's only if you have an SSL set up on your server and if you're using something like authorized.net or something like that